ended up uh, missing the Olympic Games by a mere 0 0.25 tenths of a point. And I think the entire country expected me to go. We're on our way to meet up with four-time U.S. national champion gymnast, Hall of Famer, mother of dragons, Lisa Wang. She's going to teach us a thing or two about being an elite-level gymnast, which obviously we are. Uh, hey. Hello. <laughs> Was a four-time U.S. national champion, the 2007 Pan American champion, three-time world championship team member, this athlete of the year. I was inducted into the USA Gymnastics Hall of Fame. Hey, Brian. I'm a four time, uh, four times this week I went out dr drinking. <laughs> so um, that should help. Which Olympic Games did you have your eyes set on? The 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. Because my family is originally from China, they'd immigrated, and for me it would have been extremely special for the whole family. Also, for me to be able to represent the US team and go back and compete in the the Beijing Games. Um, so what happened during qualifying for those Olympics? I was at the World Championships in Patros, Greece. And on that day, I remember just going into that competition uh, feeling extremely nervous because this was like my one chance to make it. And a lot of times they say all it takes is a flash of doubt. And on that day, doubt determined my fate because I ended up uh, missing the Olympic Games by a mere 0 0.25 tenths of a point. Everything had pointed towards the fact that I was going to go. Um, and I think the entire country expected me to go, and not even to mention my own internal pressure and expectation. And I just remember thinking, I'm not good enough, I wasn't prepared enough, I didn't work hard enough, and I will literally never be enough. But Lisa didn't quit there. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> I am not a quitter, and I most certainly am not a loser, so I can't end my career on a losing note. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. I bought a one-way ticket to Russia, to the Russian Olympic Training Center in Novogorsk, and that is the most rigorous training center in the world. Imagine Siberia in the middle of winter. I went there and I trained uh, for nine months nine hours a day because I was like, I am going to be the best gymnast I could possibly be and, and I'm going to do it for myself. And I ended up at my last competition in 2008, right before the Olympic Games, and it was the U.S. National Championships in Texas, and I ended up sweeping every single gold medal I won after the year, and then I put my apparatus down and I was like, now I'm out. Lisa ultimately succeeded in gymnastics, but she had some emotional work to do. Those gymnastic coaches are brutal. People are getting yelled at, they're being told they're ugly, they're being told they're fat, they're just like being told they're completely worthless human beings. Real life was a new frontier. After graduating from Yale and spending time on Wall Street, Lisa was finished with competition. She wanted to live in a world of support and collaboration, so she created it. I tried to go to all these like female entrepreneurial events to meet other women who could empathize with the journey. And I found a lot of very inspirational, fluffy events, and I was like, I don't have time to waste. I'm trying to build a company, I'm trying to scale it, I'm trying to be successful. Like, I'm not here to just, like, drink and gossip. So I um, created the space that I wanted, which was SheWorks. And SheWorks is a space where you could come and get access to top investors, to top mentors, and be surrounded by other female entrepreneurs who are ambitious and wanted to go on that same high growth trajectory. And it's focused on closing the funding gap by collaborating and not competing. So what exactly has Lisa learned from her journey? Gymnastics was for me. And I was training and becoming better for me and my gold medal. The moment your purpose becomes bigger than yourself is when you're like, doesn't matter if I feel good enough or not, I just gotta do it. I'm Lisa Wang, founder of SheWorks. Rally, Rally on! on. You look like a fat sausage. Go, faster, higher. <laughs> you are a fat sausage. sausage. I've never been called a fat sausage before. <laughs> I thought of, I, I don't have see been any difference a fat between. Sausage many, many times. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh, it's so painful. Yeah.